Let's go fly kites up to the highest height. Hey, this is Cardboard Mance. I'm Will. I'm Faron. And we are going to be playing a cooperative, I guess you could call it dexterity. It's a speed game called Kites. Mm. This is a very simple party game. We, uh, we'll probably go over the rules real quick so you know what we're doing. If this will not be a long playthrough, but we will play as far as we can <laughs> before we lose. Might be rather short, actually. Might we'll be say. rather short. Uh, hopefully, we will be good enough now that uh, we might actually get through. We'll see. I know. Uh, and then we'll give our review afterwards. We'll go, let's, uh, we'll go over the rev rules real quick before we get started. Uh, because again, we won't have time to explain things as we normally would while playing. Because yeah. the game is too fast for it's that. Pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see, there are a number of sand timers here. There is one kind of main sand timer with a cloud and a rainbow. To start the game, we stand that one up, and we from then on cannot let any sand timers run out until we have played every single card in, in the game, in the decks. Uh, we have le are leaving out the challenge cards, which uh, you may all, I'm not gonna go over the rules for challenge cards, but there's a number of different ones we can add in to make the game harder. Uh, we have enough trouble beating the game as it is. Yeah. Uh, we are gonna be taking turns playing one card at a time, and then we must flip all of the kites that are on that card. Yep. Uh, so there is cards of either one color or two colors. You have to flip everything. If the kites were laying down, we have to stand them up. So they are now in the running. And uh, the rainbow kite, because there is no card that is specific to the rainbow kite, uh, you can only flip it by playing a single colored card and flipping the, the, the cloud rainbow kite instead of the color that you played. I see. So that's the only way to get that one going. Uh, as soon as you play a card, refill your hand as well. And we go until the decks are have run out. And then, from that point, we are no longer allowed to flip the cloud rainbow kite. Ooh. Until we play the rest of the cards in all of our hands. So we have to run out the rest of the deck in that time. Without letting any kites run out or fall, or fall to the ground in this case. Yes. So, so, uh, I guess I will start us start off. Start us off. And time to fly. Time to fly. Oh my gosh. There we time go. To, yeah. We'll see what we found. Uh, okay. So, I think we can should be able to see the kites in the camera. Yes, uh, you're going to see hands flying in and out here. We'll do our best not to block the view, but um, this is our first time trying a sideways camera, so you can actually see the timers and not just tops of them. Um, so, we'll try this out and see how it goes. Let's do it. All right, rainbow kite is up, and then we're going to go orange and purple. All right, we are going to go with... Uh, don't, don't take too long. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to go with yellow, and we're going to go with blue. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I think we can do... Orange is about ready to go, and red. Red is the shortest one, I think. Okay, we are going to go with oh oh actually we're gonna go with uh oh orange and red orange and red orange and red oops okay you gotta go with the single one yep okay yellow and purple okay we are gonna red go is getting low we're gonna go with yellow okay red and purple oops oops uh what's what's going down or we're gonna go with uh, orange is getting low, yellow orange. is getting low. Yeah. Okay, I got yellow and blue. Okay, that's good. We're gonna go with and red. Okay, we, we can let things run out if we want yellow and purple, but we we gotta be careful if we're delaying. Yep. Orange is going fast. Orange yeah, thank and you. Blue. White's coming out. <laughs> uh, white okay. and red. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll do red first. Yep. Oh, I can do... I got I got white. Okay. And yellow's gonna go, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, I got yellow. Yellow and orange. Alright. I got blue and purple. Okay, orange. I can do red if you go fast or no, something I got, else. I got oh, you got red? Okay, alright. Okay, blue. All right, what do we got? 
got uh, I got lots of reds. You got lots. Of, I got I got lots of reds too. Now uh, we're gonna go orange and yellow. Okay. Okay. Let's get that red one. Up. Oh, white is almost out. I, I got you. I got it. Focus on blue. There we go. Okay. We got blue. Yep. Okay. I got purple. You got purple? Yep. Okay. You got red. Purple and orange. All right. We got yellow and red. Okay. Giving it a second. Okay. Uh, blue. That's fine. And orange. That's okay. That's good. Orange is not great. It's not great. That's okay. You got white. Yeah, I can do white if you got reds. I got red. Orange. I don't have an orange. I got, I got white. I got it. Okay. I'm gonna go orange and blue. Okay. Okay, let's go a little bit. Purple and reds. Okay. We're gonna go uh, orange and yellow. Oh good. Thank you. Okay, I got blue and that. Your red is the shortest one. You have a single for the white. It's running Absolutely. low. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Uh, next one up is orange. Yep. I can do okay. orange and yellow, unfortunately, is all I have. It's all, it's all good. Uh, I got it. I got the perfect one. Okay. You got blue? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Red. Good. Red okay. and orange. And yellow. There we go. Okay. I got, uh, unfortunately, it's blue and yellow. I, it's okay. It's okay. I got purple. All right. Where are we at here? I don't have an orange. I have red and blue. Okay. Do you have an orange? Because yep. orange yep. is the go. Go, 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 go. Orange. And I got red again. You have red? Yes, I do. Yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow. Okay. <laughs> All right. I got, uh, I got white and you got red. I do. Okay. Uh, eat a red by itself. Okay. All right. So we're out of cards. So oh, we no, can... there's more here. Okay. Um, uh, blue, blue, blue. Yep. Yeah. Blue, red, orange. I don't have an orange. Okay. I have. Go, go, go. Uh, do something. Yellow and red. Okay. I got orange okay. and red. We can no longer flip the uh, the white timer. Okay. Okay. Blue. Okay, and purple. All right. Yellow. Purple. Okay, orange and red. Red first, red, 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 red. Okay. There we go. Okay, orange. Oh, you're out of cards, right? Yeah. I think I maybe missed her at some point. And red and yellow. There it is! Oh. <laughs> Kept all the kites up. I Yeah, I think maybe one maybe had like a green of sand left. No, I, I timed out. it. I timed, I timed that timed one. It. I saw the red one. Yeah. Yeah. That was very, very, very close, but. Yeah. But we did. I think it was easier for two players than it was yeah. for what, five. Yes, definitely. Because we had more cards in our hands to choose from yeah. and we could coordinate a little bit better. Uh, so that was Kites. Uh, as you can see, that was a, I don't know how long that took us, five minutes maybe, maybe. to go <laughs> through, but it was, it took the tight coordination, yeah. uh, it's careful timing, uh, some panicking. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. So I lo love grabbing around the table. There's a couple of times where I flipped it, hoping that you had one. I didn't check with you, but yeah. communication is key in that one. You got blood. Okay, I'm gonna do this one, and then and we're just watching them, knowing when to wait and let some of them run out. Yep, That's, because it yeah. was was helpful. Because uh, sometimes there was ones where like I, I have to flip the red, but yeah. I'm also flipping the purple, and the purple's we just started. <laughs> the purple just started, and now I am putting the purple in danger. I think that's the only time we really beat the game, but yeah. again, we usually play it more players. Yeah, we uh, we played it a couple of times with I think was it three or four was I think it was four, and we lost miserably both times because we played it two it games in, in like less than five minutes. Yeah, we lost terribly. I've played it with other people and I've done quite well. Yeah, uh, but it is it is definitely not uh, easy game. It is it is fun if you yeah. are okay with dexterity games, speed games. Mm -hmm. I think this game definitely justifies sand timers. Yeah, I think well, yeah. Usually I I absolutely dislike sand timers. Yeah. Except for Caro. Go check out our playthrough and review of Caro because it does use sand timers to interesting effects as a, uh, it's almost more of a resource in that game mm -hmm. than than a time pressure. Although yeah. there, <laughs> there is a little bit of that. <laughs> 
But uh, I think this is this is a great party game. This is a great um, like for parties uh, that are okay with that sort of thing. What, what does it play to? Uh, five, I believe, five or six. Six, place six. six. Okay, wow. So it, it could be a little bit of a party game, a little bit of icebreaker. Uh, it's great for introducing the people who are not familiar with a lot of board games. Yeah. Because uh, the rules overhead is very low. You just play a card, play flip card, the timer. You flip, you flip timers, and that's, and that's essentially it. And if you want to make it more difficult, there are those challenge cards. Like, you can put in cards that will maybe limit communication um, or... I forget, even forgot what some of these are. I think uh, I think some of them make it so that you can't flip um, the the white timer until it comes back to your turn and and things like that. So there's ways to make it more difficult if you want. Um, but as it is, it's just a nice challenge. Yep. Easy to get out. Production quality is is decent. Like all the sand timers are your typical plastic, um, you know, board game sand timers. But they're all uh, not only color coded nicely, but they have good symbols on them and on the cards for people who are more colorblind. Uh, the fact that they all have different times to them, like none mm, of them yeah. run out at the same time. No. Uh, and that red one is the worst out of all of them. That one has red and orange are actually orange might even be less I, than I, red. I feel like red is faster though. Oh, you think red's faster than, well, I don't flip them both and we'll see. There we go. <laughs> While we're talking, but I, I definitely feel like they, they were well planned out and in the, in the accounting for slight manufacturing changes, because maybe, I mean, manufacturing, maybe, maybe my red sand timer is one second shorter than mm -hmm. your red sand timer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it maybe. doesn't really matter because it, it all kind of plays into, into the, the cooperative nature of it. And there are, the gate, the deck is built to oh, adjust right. for that. The red one goes faster. The red one goes faster. And, and there are more cards with red on it. Then there are cards of other colors yeah, yeah, to, so. to adjust for that. Yeah. So uh, it is kind of cal carefully calibrated, I guess, in that sense uh, to make it more balanced as it could. So this is definitely going to get a recommendation for me if you find that your your group is going to enjoy this sort of game. This sort of game, yeah. It's not it's not your usual you know victory points and go do this and do this. It's a very simple game just with a lot of you know shouting over the over the, the table uh and uh just a lot of chaos sometimes it kind of reminds me uh, in, in a very different way than a five minute dungeon um where that game is is also just shouting at the table playing cards trying to get get through the dungeon as, as quickly as possible and deal with uh monsters that have icons on them mm. um again simple game play a card beat the thing this one, same thing. Play a card, flip the thing over. Again, yeah. a lot of cooperation, shouting, you got this one, I got this one, you know? Yeah, so. and I think that's what, it, the cooperation is what sets it apart yeah. from a lot of dexterity-based party games. A mm. lot of them are more like, I'm doing this thing in such a way that it makes it harder for you to mm -hmm. do it on your turn. Yeah. And something might fall or break or whatever and make you lose. Yeah. Whereas this one takes that pressure mm -hmm. And the, but the pressure is the timers, not no. not in yeah. you know the previous player making it hard for you. The the only um, thing of caution I might say about this game is just if you're you you know reaching across the table, you'll probably be knocking over timers that you're not reaching for. There, there's uh, there's rules so there's, for how to handle oh, that. Too. Oh, is there? Okay, cool. Yeah. So just because like you know if I'm going for the purple, I knock over the orange. I'm like oh. I didn't do it, and then you could kind of, you know. Yeah, well, essentially, you if you knock it over, you have to stand it back up before the next player can go. Gotcha. Okay. So one player has to completely finish their turn yeah. before the next player goes. Yeah. And that way, if you make a mess, you're just delaying <laughs> the game even further and <laughs> making it even harder. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you can't have someone else helping you turn it. It's got to be the person with the cards yeah. is the one that turns them. Cool. So, yeah, this is definitely getting a recommendation from us. Uh, if you want to check out a review for Caro for another sand timer game that will probably change your mind on sand timers and board games, um, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You know, please check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, we'll see you next time.